Well, some sad news as the victims of a deadly crash yesterday morning have all been identified as Indiana State University students. Two of the victims were on the football team, 18-year-old Christian Eubanks and 19-year-old Caleb. University is mourning three students. Tonight, the university is coming together to remember them. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Beershell Edme. Today we learned the names of the students killed in this crash, and we also heard from Indiana State University leaders. Our Indiana State University community is mourning the loss of life. Sadly, three ISU students are dead after an overnight crash Sunday on State Road 46 in Riley. Their car left the road, hit a tree, and caught fire. Of the five Indiana State students inside, three died. 18-year-old Christian Eubanks, 19-year-old Caleb Van Hooser, and 19-year-old Jaden Musili. Jaden Musili, 19, a sophomore from Fort Wayne, was part of the Pathway to Blue program and became an ISU student this year. His loved ones say, quote, Jaden was a shining light in our family. He was an awesome friend and he always had a smile on his face. One of his closest friends calls him a brother. I don't think he had any enemies. Everybody liked him. Eubanks and Van Hooser were members of the Indiana State football team. They were going to represent not only their family, but uh, uh, their family here at Indiana State in a first class manner. That they were going to earn their degree of a three point or higher, and they were going to help us win the first ever Missouri Valley Championship. Two more football players were also in the car and remain hospitalized. Head Sycamore football coach Kurt Mallory held a meeting Sunday morning to tell his team about this loss. By that evening, ISU held a vigil outside Memorial Stadium to remember these three young men. We saw the love within this community from our students, our coaches, and our staff. It truly shows what a great family we have here at Indiana State. Coach says the team will be back at practice tomorrow, and they plan to play their first scheduled home football game September 1st. There's no question there'll be part missing, but this is a great time for us to come together as one Sycamore family. The two students who remain in the hospital are both out of the ICU, but they are in serious condition still. Counseling services are available for students, faculty, and staff.